Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone is having a great day. Well, today we are going to be starting the summer lady is what I call her. And we're going to be starting on this top row right up on top. And, oh dear, the color. Hang on. The color is 936 and it's kind of a dark olive green. So how is everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great day. It's already the weekend again. Can you believe it? I mean seriously. Weren't we just here? These weeks just keep flying by. Let me try to pull you in just a bit. Yeah, I didn't know which one to start, so let's just start on this and poke and hope, all right? You can always go back and put beads on them or whatever. So anybody got any grand plans for this weekend? I think mine's going to be kind of quiet, I, I hope. I say that with all due confidence. Yesterday... My daughter and I left her house about 10 and drove down to the uh, the eye doctor. Got that all taken care of. So in a week, I'll have my new glasses. So, yeah, we'll see how they work. And then we went to the thrift store. And where else? Do, oh, yeah. We went to the thrift store. And I got a new vase. Hang on. It's sticking to my fingers. I may have to pull it up. Let me pull it out of there. There we go. So it's got chickens. A little bit of fake cloisonne on it. So... Very pretty. Yep, I'll have to find a place on my dresser for it because there's no place any place else. But yeah, I just really, really like this. So, yay. Something new. Uh, and we went to... There's a... I don't know. It, it They call it a thrift store, but... It's not, this one, this other one is not a thrift store. They sell all kinds of stuff. They had rocks. Like if you wanted to buy shark's teeth or a certain rock, they had all them. They did have some thrift store type items. They had antique, what do you call it? Like China, we'll call it China, China. Like China pieces, not just, we're going to set out the good china to eat on. Not that kind of china. But, uh, yeah. So we went there, and my daughter picked up a few little onyx <clears throat> animals. I didn't get anything while I was there. I didn't see anything that just sent me over the edge. And... Oh, yeah, hang on. And I got these two things. I have no idea what they are. They're flat bottom. It says made in China. But I saw them the last time when my friend was up from Arizona. So I decided to get them. They got some kind of little funky animal and some kind of fruit there. And then the other one, hang on. I got to reach back and get it because I haven't put it away yet. So it's got kind of a weird blue and white design on it. I have no idea if you know what those are for. Just decoration, I guess. So yeah, I put them up here for the time being. Until I can make a place for them someplace else. So though I got them at the actual thrift store. But I didn't really see too much of anything that I wanted so, yeah, those were, that was it. And we came, 
We went to eat at McDonald's, of course, because it was right there. I did. She wasn't hungry because she ate some chips while I was in the doctor's office. Of course, it was at 11 o'clock, so I didn't get out of there till almost 12. And so she wasn't hungry. So I was the only one that ate McDonald's. So, yep. And then we came home. Yep. And my leg was absolutely killing me from walking around and walking around and walking around. So, yay. So I came home and took a couple of ibuprofen and passed out for two hours. And I got um, some of that vegetable lasagna at Walmart. I found some, but I didn't have to get the big, huge one. So this was the size that was, what is that? 10 inches-ish by 8 inches, something like that. It wasn't the great big 13 by 9 size. Yeah. That wasn't happening yesterday, so I had that for dinner, and that's what I'm having again tonight. Just so I can get rid of it. And I was hoping to maybe make some uh, red beans and rice this weekend, but not real sure if that's what I want or not. It's going to be in the 60s. Got to the 60s yesterday while we were out running around. Of course, I'm wearing a sweater and sweatpants and a hoodie. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, we were both about to die. I just came home and shed all my clothes and put my shorts on. I was just burning up by the time we got back. But yeah. And I worked a little bit on the We'll call it the Siamese cat, just so you know what I was working on. So, I wanted to work something 11 count. So, I didn't feel like dragging out the big beast. So, yeah. Other than that, yeah, that was totally our day. I'm sure she was as tired as I was. Oh, goodness gracious. So, no idea what my grand plans for the rest of the day is. Maybe just sitting in my rocking chair and relaxing and doing some stitching. Of course, I'll have to watch Amy, which is Stitchery Lovers. If you've never seen her channel, you should go there. She does stitching with music. So, there's not a lot of talking involved. But, uh... I put that on. I sometimes get three or four of hers in a in a row, all set up, and just sit there and stitch to music. I love doing that. It's nice and it's relaxing. But I have no grand plans on what kit I'm going to be working on. Oh, and I put that all there, didn't I? Okay, just be that way, kids. We'll put that there. I love them plastic clips. If you don't know about them, go to any one of the stores that I review. And they are very inexpensive. You can usually get two for a dollar. Sometimes they even have them on sale for 40 cents bees. So, very nice. I use them for chips. I use them for cross-stitch. They're absolutely wonderful. They're one of the best tools that I've found in a long time. <sighs> so what's everybody working on? Hope you're working on something fun. 
I watched uh, Jill Green yesterday. She's about got that high-heeled shoe whooped and finished. I swear, she's just like a mega, mega stitcher. I'm telling you. And it was a, a nice small one. I, I'll probably work on some of the small ones. The other day I worked on, um, what was it? Oh my gosh. I can't think. I just got it. It's a 14 count. It's not Joy Sunday. And it had those, oh, the lilies, the red lilies. That's it. Yeah. So it's coming along. I put quite a few stitches into that. I think tomorrow for my uh, April Saturday stitching, I'll do the koi. So, look forward to that. I'm, I'll find it here. Pretty soon I, I know where it has to be. Because it never moved from there from the time I've gotten it. So, yeah, it's kind of big. I have two of those koi pictures so love them get this needle put away before I get stabbed again I've used my uh, little needle threader that I got this week I think from colorful DIY I think that's who I got it from correct me if I'm wrong but uh, yeah I keep it right here with the the blue clips in my little bowl didn't see any bowls we didn't go to the other thrift store uh yesterday you know here in town both of us were just whooped we were done so Maybe this one will be a little bit easier to, to cipher. Maybe. Because that other one, I had a hardest time trying to figure out what was, what do you call it? The French knots and what was you know, actually another thread. So we'll just start at the top on this one and just pretend we don't know any different and just stitch. That is if my finger holds out. What was that? Wednesday night, my goodness, my fingers hurt so bad. But they, they're, they heal up pretty fast, so. I just kept stabbing myself over and over again. And if I wasn't doing that, I was pushing it into this finger. That was awesome. I couldn't win. So that's why I went to 11 count. It, it's much easier to stitch on. And I'll probably watch some of my YouTube channels that I watch and and see if there's anything I want to watch on Netflix. I don't know. Just not, not, not making any plan this ish, you know? I got dinner all situated so I don't have to cook until maybe tomorrow. So that's a good thing. Sometimes I'm in the mood to just cook all weekend long. And others, not so much. Especially the warmer it gets, then I really don't want to cook. I have to finish up the rest of that chicken salad and the lettuce that I got. So that might be an option for lunch sometime this weekend, but... Not just not making any plans. I don't know how windy it's going to be, so 
I may or may not stitch outside. We'll, we'll have to play that all by ear. So, we'll see. But it said it was going to be in the 60s, so I'm kind of taking their word for it. I don't know if that's hope, wishful thinking or what. We'll just go go right along. And this is another one of those joy Sundays where the material feels more cotton. It's not so slickery ish. You know what I mean? I know. Boy, I made that word up, didn't I? You know what I mean. Some of them are so smooth and so slick and so small you can't hang on to them. So, have that kind of an issue every once in a while. So They don't want to crinkle too well, but this one's another one. I don't know. What was it? Oh, I know. It was Peter Rabbit that was like this. So, maybe they're, you know, older fabric that you know, older kits that they've had for a while before they changed over. So, I, I got nothing. And thank you all for your comments about how to put the, um, you know, the beads on and everything. It's just really confusing some days. Beads or French knots, whichever. Because I haven't had one too many kids that that even called for French knots. You know, it might have been in the center of a flower and that was it or something like that. But Or I just never got to that part or thought about it, you know. Which is okay, you know, the simpler the better. I don't mind a little back stitching just to make something look really good. But those French knots, oh my goodness, they just, they'll do you in. That's why it's easier for me to just throw a bead on there. So we'll, we'll see. Well, if I can get a hold of the stupid needle. This needle is a little bit bigger than the last one. The last one was a uh, 28 needle. And this one was just one that was on my uh, pin cushion here. I have a pin cushion that sits on my desk. And I have... Do you remember that one that was made of velvet? And it had like this fake gold or silver around the outside edge. I put it over there by my uh, rocking chair. I have a little... Oh... One of those shaker baskets. The one that I got with the material all around the outside. Yeah. So I, it holds the scissors. It holds extra needles, thimbles. What else is in there? Maybe a couple of these. Yeah. It works out quite great. That way I don't have to get up and down to do, you know, look for a thimble or look for needles or whatever but I finally put a uh, pin cushion in there and it was just the right size for that little decorative box to hold all my little doodads well if I can just get everything together here I even thought about getting out the uh, the silk thing. I'll get it out and do like an entire six strand thread and then I'm done. I just, I cannot sit there for hours to do that. It just gets totally frustrating. There's no rhythm 
like there is with just straight cotton, we'll call it, cross stitch. So, we'll see. We will see. But nothing's screaming in the back of my brain anymore. And if they are, I can't hear them anymore. And so it happens just every so often now. In the beginning, when I had all these things going, it was like my brain wouldn't shut up. So... And I'd like to make a little more progress on that huge one. So, okay, we made it across. Yay! And the crowd goes wild. Get that all tightened down. Really shouldn't have taken that out of that needle. Where did that needle go? All right. So, hang on. So I got that top row, the outside of it done. There's two symbols here. So I may have to start one of them. Then we can go on to the next little line there. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Oops, sorry. My bad. I hit the camera. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.